Hello, my name is Brian Callum with Carlos Syntec here to talk to you today about cold weather and flexible fast adhesive. Today we're going to go through an installation advisory, material temperature, material storage, adhesive best use, and understanding string time. A few weeks ago, Carlos sent out a cold weather tips and tricks during an installation advisory that covered many aspects of flexible fast dual tank, CAV Grip 3, and CAV Grip for PVC. One area we always want to talk about in the wintertime is material temperature. Flexible fast is to be stored between 70 to 90 degrees at the time of use. The application temperatures are 25 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though it is cold outside, you do need to make sure the material stays 70 to 90 degrees. Best way to measure temperature on the guns is to use a uh, battery powered infrared gun to shoot the outside of the container and see what the temperature is. Just keep in mind that you don't always, you're not going to check the center of the, the drum, the five gallon jug or the dual tank. You're just measuring the outside temperature of that container. So the center of that container may still be colder. Storage of material on site, definitely uh, some things we do hear about storing in a penthouse or facility. Usually, that those areas are not 70 degrees. It's an unheated stairwell or something like that. Heat may rise and get there, but we do need to make sure that we keep it in a 70 degree environment. Uh, also, storing material on pallets or insulation using basically what we're looking for is a thermal barrier, something to keep the adhesive off of the cold surface. So if you're over top of a gypsum deck, concrete deck, steel deck, those cold surfaces pull the temperature right out of the adhesive quicker than you can actually put it in there. So always keep that barrier during storage and use. Hot boxes are a great alternative uh, or solution to heating the material. Not all of them are equal. Um, over my 20 years in the roofing industry now, I've seen a lot of homemade uh, hot boxes and they've uh, come a long way now as far as pre-manufactured ones. There's some nice ones manufactured by Power Blanket that keep the material fixed at 100 degrees, um, and you can store an entire pallet's worth of material in that. Make sure if you're looking at and comparing uh, hot boxes out there that you look at the heating ability or the watts of that unit. Pricing does vary anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000, but do look at how much heating pack capacity it does have. Once you're using material, heated blankets are definitely highly, highly recommended. Um, Carla does offer those. They're on the equipment page in the price book. Uh, so we do stock those at all of our uh, manufacturing plants. Those are there mainly to help maintain the temperature. If you're trying to use that to heat the container, keep in mind that Dual tanks only increase about one degree every hour. So if it is a 40 degree tank and you're trying to get to 70 degrees, you're going to need about 30 hours of time to get that tank up to temperature. So keep it in a warm environment. Use the blankets to keep the heat on the cylinder while, when in use. One thing we don't want to see is heated uh, heater bands, orange silicone heater bands on dual tanks. Um, they go to extreme high temperatures of over 300 degrees. Some of them don't even have temperature controls. They're just fixed at the high end. And they have a very, with that high heat and a concentrated area, it, it uh, focuses on about an inch in on the container and is not warming the whole material, the cylinder the whole way through. So ensure that you're using uh, blankets and hot boxes and not dual tanks. Another item to keep in mind in heating these is they are a pressurized vessel. The quicker you heat them, they are going to raise in pressure. So do not overheat your tanks. 120 degrees is maximum. As I mentioned, when you're using the adhesive, make sure you keep blankets on them. When, you, uh, when you're applying the adhesive, keep that thermal barrier between the cylinder and the, the roof deck. If needed in some colder climates, I've uh, seen mobile hot boxes or mobile insulation carts used to help keep the, the cylinders warm. If needed, you can rotate them in and out. Keep in mind, it only reheats about one degree per hour in a 90 degree environment. They do lose temperature quickly, but take a lot longer to heat up. So uh, temperature is key, storage is key for that. When you're using flexible fast, it is important to shake it. 
minimum 30 seconds. Uh, we're looking to agitate and mix the propellant and the adhesive in the tank itself. We're going to look for a knock test. When you knock on the cylinder, we're going to be listening for a thud sound. If it has an empty ping, the cylinder has not been shaken. Make sure you uh, properly shake it. If it is not shaken, you would run into coverage rate issues, material left over, uh, and mixture problems as well. String time is something that Carla would promote heavily. Uh, flexible fast at a 70 degree uh, material temperature, 70 degree environment, comes to string in about 90 seconds. The hotter the material, hotter the substrate, the quicker that reacts. The colder the material, colder the adhesive, the slower that is. A lot of the calls we get are uh, slow curing, adhesive not coming to string. Those ultimately result in cold material. For example, if your material temperature is 70 degrees and it's a 30 degree surface, the adhesive after you dispense it could be about 40. That's after it's dispensed. So that substrate is pulling the heat out of the, the adhesive itself. Um, with that, in that scenario, a 70 degree adhesive, 30 degree surface could come to string in about 30 minutes or three minutes. I'm sorry. Um, if you have 90 degree adhesive, and that same 30 degree surface it could be close to two minutes coming to string. But if you have that 60 degree material, something outside of what we recommend, you're going to see something greater than five minutes for that string time to start. The close end of that string time also gets extended as well. So uh, it is important to make sure we keep everything warm. Uh, just recap a few things we talked about. Blankets, hot boxes are very important to make sure you keep the material warm. Rotate it in and out as needed. Keep a thermal barrier between the cylinder and the surface, uh, the, the deck itself, and ensure you're properly shaking the tip tanks as well as uh, changing your tips. Thank you.